Welcome to the introduction to Polar Reports. For the purposes of this video, we are using dummy data. To keep up to date with our latest videos, hit the subscribe button and select all notifications. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Log into Polar. Select the reports menu. For the purpose of this video, we will be selecting the clinic summary report. Select clinic summary report. Be patient, the data may take some time to load. In the dark ribbon at the top of the page, you will have the following. Polar logo. Clicking on this will take you back to the Welcome to Polar page. Report name. The name of the report and page name are shown here. In this case, we are in the clinic summary report on the dashboard page. Reports menu. Clicking on this will take you back to the selection of reports available to you. Dashboard menu. This will take you to the page we are currently viewing. The page gives you a snapshot of your practice's data. Patients, clinical, MBS and practice all have drop down lists with available pages within this report, which we will cover in more detail in other videos. Help also has a drop down list with links to education and support features and the data mapping for each page. An in depth look at the help features can be viewed in a previous video. Across to the right hand side, the patient list will open a list of selected patients. This list can also be opened by double clicking on the patient count found on the top left hand side of the page. You can export patient lists to Excel and this will be covered in another video. The bookmark features allows you to create bookmarks from the applied filters to use at other times. There are also some supplied bookmarks for you to use. Moving to the patient count, the large blue number shows the total patient count within your clinic software and includes inactive and deceased patients before any filters are applied. This is also the total number of patients that will be displayed when the patient list is generated. The smaller orange number shows how many patients within the blue patient count are active within your clinical software. When the patient active filter is applied, the blue and orange numbers will be the same. The patient count will change as different filters are applied. Under the patient count, we have a list of filters that can be applied to customise your patient searches. For example, clicking on the patient filter provides you a drop down list that includes filter options such as patient status, patient age, gender, etc. The filters will be covered in more detail in another video. Looking at the dashboard page, we are provided with a snapshot of a small section of your practice patient information. We will look at each section starting from the top. If you are registered for the Practice Incentive Program Quality Improvement, PIPQI stream, you will be able to see when your last data extraction for your practice occurred and if you are PIPQI data compliant for the current PIP quarter. On the top right hand side you will see a button called click to select RACGP and practice active patients. This enables you to automatically apply both the RACGP active patients and practice active patients filters. The RACGP active patients filter only displays patients that have visited your practice three or more times in the last two years. The practice active filter means the patients in your clinical system are active and have not been marked as deceased or inactive. 
The text boxes give you a snapshot of Medicare benefits claiming for GP management plans and reviews and what is currently outstanding. You can find out more information on this topic under the MBS Care Plan page. We will cover this topic in another video. The graphs in the middle include information on how many new patients your practice is seeing per month and their return rate. Selecting the month and confirming the selection will apply the filter. To see the names of the patients, click on patient list in the top right hand corner. The lower graph is a comparison of face-to-face -face consultations, telephone consultations and video consultations per month. Note if you have mismatched clinical and billing software, you may not see this information. This is a visual graph and is not currently interactive. The risk visualization graphs are interactive and displays information text when the mouse cursor is hovered over the graphs. You can select categories within the graph and apply filters to generate patient lists. To log off, click on the polar icon on the top left hand side and then navigate to the top right hand corner and log off. If you found this video helpful, remember to subscribe to the Emfin YouTube channel and give the video a thumbs up. See you in the next video.